hello everyone welcome to take Leopard channel and in today's video i'm going to show you how to fix the error the procedure entry point not found dynamic link library in your windows 10 or 11 computer now the first thing we are going to do is check our system type and for that go to the search box and then type in system info and here you can see system information at the top click on it now in here right next to system type you can see that our system is 64 based now what you have to do is open any browser and then in the address bar type in visual c plus plus 2013 download and then press enter from your keyboard now click on the first link which is from microsoft.com and then scroll down a bit select your language and then click on download now it will ask you to select your system type so as we have just checked that ours is 64 bit so we are going to select this one which is x64 but if your system is 32 bit then you need to select this one so once you select it click on download and the download is complete now all you need to do is click on the downloaded file to start the installation and then check this box click on install in here click on yes now we can minimize our browser and the installation is complete now click on close now what you have to do is go to the search box again and type in cmd and you will see command prompt at the top right click on it and then click on run as administrator and then click on yes now in here we have to type in a command which is sfc space forward slash scan now and then press enter and this will take some time about a few minutes so just hang in there until it is complete and once complete you'll see something like this and after that all you need to do is just restart your computer and that should fix the problem and that is how you can fix the issue of the procedure entry point could not be located in the dynamic link library error in your windows 10 or 11 computer i hope this video was helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe